In today's tutorial, we're going to make a crochet hinoculus flower. To start, we're going to make the central part of our flower and I'm going to use a 2.5 mil crochet hook and some fingering weight yarn. To start the central part of my flower, I'm going to chain seven. So I'm going to make my slip knot and I'll pull through. Okay, and now I'll do my chain seven. Okay, here's my chain seven, and now I'm going to do a double crochet in the fourth chain from my hook. So that's just here. Now I'll add one double crochet. Okay, so that first stitch is going to count as a double crochet increase. In the next stitch, I'm going to add a double crochet. The following one, a double crochet increase. That's two in the same stitch. And then if in the final, I'll add one double crochet. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to slip stitch into my first stitch. So I'm going to create a little circle. So I'll find my first stitch, which is just here, and I'll slip stitch my yarn through. And now what I'll do, I'll cut my yarn. So now I've cut my yarn and I've got my tail attached to my tapestry needle. I'm going to weave in, in and out to the bottom to make a cone shape. from this small crochet motif. So what will happen, your base stitches will be much thinner than your top, so you will create a little cone like this. Now to make our flower, I've switched to my pink color and we're going to make our flower in a ribbon style. So first of all, we're going to chain 76 stitches. So count all the way up to 76. So I've made my foundation chain of 76 and now I'm going to do a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So I'll do my yarn over and into the fourth chain. So that first chain here is going to count these three are going to count as a double crochet. Now this stitch where we just put a double crochet, we're going to add another one to make that a double crochet increase. Okay. So we've got a double here. Now in the next stitch, we're going to do one double crochet. There we go. Now our pattern until we get to the end is going to be double crochet increase, double crochet, double crochet increase, double crochet, and continue this all the way down to get to the end of your foundation chain. And at the end of this row, you will have 111 double crochets. Here I finish row one, so I've got my 111 stitches and my foundation chain is now starting to curl. So for our next row, we're going to turn our work and we're going to chain one. We're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch. Now we're going to skip two stitches and put five double crochets in the same stitch. There's my first, second, third, fourth, and fifth and there I've created a shell. So now we're going to skip two stitches, one, two and single crochet. So our pattern will be skip two stitches, a five double crochet shell, one double crochet, two, 
three, four, and finally the last one. And I'll skip two stitches and single crochet. And I'll continue this pattern all the way around. So skip two stitches, five double crochet, skip two stitches, single crochet. And at the end of this row, you will have 22 shells. Here I finish row two, I'm sorry, it was 18 shell stitches, not 22. And in the final two stitches, do two single crochets. Now, this is your ribbon finish for your flower. Leave a 50 centimeter tail, and now we're going to work on the bottom leaves before we assemble our flower together. So let's go back to our green yarn that we started with, and we're going to start with a magic circle. So I've got my tail in front, yarn over my first two fingers to make my cross, and then I'll pick up my yarn and release my fingers. And there is my magic circle. So to start row one, I'm going to chain one, just to start, and I'm going to add six single crochet into my center. Here is my six single crochet, and now I'm going to tighten my magic circle, but not fully. I want to leave it slightly loose so I can still fit my wire in later on. For row two, we're continuing a spiral, so I'm going to go straight into my first stitch and I'm going to do a single crochet increase. So two single crochet in the same stitch. And in the next five stitches, I'm going to do single crochet increases in each one. So at the end of this row, we will have 12 single crochet. Here's row two done. Now for our final row, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. I'm going to chain three. And we're going to turn this into a peacock stitch. So single crochet into the third stitch from the chain or slip stitch, sorry. And then I'm going to slip stitch straight into the next stitch. And there's my little leaf created. So I'm going to slip stitch into my next stitch. Chain three, two, three. Slip stitch into my third chain from my hook and then slip stitch into my next stitch. And I'll continue all the way around in slip stitch, chain three, picot, slip stitch into the next, slip stitch, picot, slip stitch. And at the end of this row, I'll have six sepals. So now I've got my three motifs, my central flower, my ribbon and my sepals. Now I need my florist wire to start assembling. So we're going to start with the central stem. So I'm going to insert my flourish wire from one side of the base into the other side, just to make a little anchor. And I'll try and get this central as possible. Okay, so there it is threaded through and I'll pull it all the way to the center and I'll just simply fold my wire over and twist. So there's my central step. Now, using the long tail from our ribbon, we're going to start to wrap our flower. Here's my needle threaded. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my central stem to, the, to align with the foundations chain of the ribbon. And I'm going to use my tapestry needle and I'm going, first of all I'm going to weave my tapestry needle down to the end to the foundation stage of the ribbon. Okay, Now I can start attaching so I'm simply going to fold and put a little stitch into both pieces of crochet and now I'm going to turn and I'll add another stitch trying to catch that central green center. And I'll continue, just turning. Don't worry if it's, 
if it's very like a sausage shape at the moment, it will bloom the further we go. So just continue around, adding a stitch every half turn or so. This is why we need such a long tail on the ribbon. And I just like to keep it very tight on the bottom because the bottom is actually um, narrower than your top, so it will bloom. So I'll do one more stitch and then I'll show you how it looked from the top so far. So I'm still trying to keep all the foundation at the same height. Okay, so at the moment here's my top and we can just simply open up the bloom slightly as we go. So now I've got my center, I'm going to be more concentrating on how my petals will fall. So I'll just slightly angle it, see if I go straight, it will keep this way. Now, if I just put it slightly in an angle, my blooms will start to open. So I'll just put a stitch there to secure. Now I'll turn it up and I'll just angle this flat petal this way. And I'll just keep continuing to turn and check the top each time and I'll continue all the way around now. Here's my bloom after I've finished. So it's gradually gone all the way around and I can pull these petals out just to open the bloom. And from the back, it's got quite a flat surface. It didn't slightly in the middle, but it's quite flat. Now, to hide all this work, we made our sepals. So let's twist our wire and we're going to thread our wire through the center of our magic circle that we created. There we go. And I just need to find the string for my magic circle and I'll just pull that very, very tight. Okay, and now I can use the thread from here to attach my sepal slightly to my flower. Now I only do a few stitches because I like the sepals to come down like the real flower does. And the reason we left a long tail from the sepals was so you can use this once you've wrapped it through. And wrap it around your wire so your wire becomes the same color as your sepals so you don't have that contrast. And that's finished. That's how to make your crochet hernuncles. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it was clear. Don't forget there is a full written tutorial available on my blog and the link is down below. And I'll see you soon for our next crochet video. Bye.